I say good morning, but it is now 1230. So yeah, so as I'm sure you guys have seen, this is where we keep our filming equipment and stuff. And we have a new microphone thingy right, right, right there. Our buddy Dan for Highborn 55. Yeah, he gave us his microphone because he got a new one. And it's a Yeti. I haven't tried it out yet, but I am so looking forward to it. Probably going to be one day that Ari's not here and I can fully figure out everything. Ooh, Ivy, good morning. Ooh, oh, that's bright. Oh, yeah, I know. So, we had a yard sale nearby, and we got this little thing for like a dollar. And she loves it. <gasps> Say good morning. Yeah. As you can see, we've now given her a crochet blanket to sleep with. Oh, you dropped your Evie? Oh no, let's pick up Evie. Let's pick up Evie. <gasps> Evie! Yeah, I put the little Evie poster that was in my room on her wall and she loves it. I'd honestly forgotten that we even put it in here until I brought her to bed that night. And she's like, ah! I'm like, oh yeah, we, we brought that in here. Yeah, she loves that poster. Oh, what? You got your, your your sheep? Yeah. Richie. Well, shorts. <laughs> Yay! 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 Of course, she runs out right after I sit down. She gave me this. I sat down, and I was gonna show you her favorite book. I don't know. Is it really her favorite book? Currently, it seems to be her favorite book because Wacky yeah, Wednesday. She's always having us read her it. Her other favorite book is Hop on Pop. Yeah, she calls it Pop Pop Pop. <laughs> <gasps> Say hi. Yes, she's in pajamas. Richie's in basketball shorts. The only reason I'm wearing jeans is because weird. they're comfortable. Ah, ah, ah. They're they're my maternity jeans from when I was pregnant with Ari. And they're really, really comfortable. And I have them, so why not? Basically, I just don't feel like wearing my pajama pants. Uh, uh, I don't know, I feel like a bum constantly wearing pajama pants. And since, you know, I'm not going outside anyway because it's so hot, I figured, whatever. Just wear these, and if I do need to step outside for a little bit, at least I don't look like a bum. <gasps> look at the chicken. Where's the chicken? Huh? The pig and the duck and the chicken. That's a piggy and that's a duck. Oh no! Buck, buck. Yeah, it's a, it's a buck, buck. Say chicken and a goose. Yeah, it's a goose. What's the goose say? Honk, honk. Honk, honk. Yeah. Cat. What you see? Yeah. See all the animals? What did the ducks say? What are you doing? <laughs> why are you why are you shaking and pushing and stuff? Duck. Duck. <laughs> you laying down? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you you being goofy or are you cuddling with the book? I don't uh, know. Uh. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> it's a George. You like your pretty shoes? Hi. I think she just looks so adorable in that outfit. Oh my goodness. Mom. Yeah? Oh, you're trying to help? No, I want to play with the stuff, Dad. It's cold. Close the door, Ari. Right? 
Oh no. Hey. Are you ready for the night? What you looking at? What is George in your way again? Yeah, that's actually the second time George jumped up on the TV stand since Disney Nature has been playing. The first time, it was focusing on monkeys and he was blocking her view from an adorable baby monkey. And so she pushed him off the TV stand. And then whenever he jumped back up, she was trying so hard to push him. But I guess he positioned himself in a way that she couldn't. She's just like trying so hard. It just didn't work. George, what's the big cat doing? Huh, buddy? He's just sitting there watching the cheetah, Rich. <laughs> you found your chair? Yeah? You gonna sit in it? No, that that's not how you sit in a chair. Booty down. Not feet, booty. There we go. Close enough. <laughs> Hi. Go wave. Yeah. <laughs> George. Oh yeah, so a lot has changed in the last however long it's been since I last did a vlog. Well, I mean, you know, other than the mess, of course, because I have a one-year-old who lives here. So, we have a giant mess. Yeah, but, that's true. Yeah, Richie's cooking in the kitchen. He is. What's Hi, up, Richie? nerds? <laughs> Obviously, we've got this new sofa set. Guess how much we paid for it. Oh, also, there's an ottoman right there that we can take the top off and put blankets in there. Obviously, we don't have all the blankets in there. But, yeah, we have that. We, we've, like, most of our blankets are in there. And, yeah. All four things we got for forty dollars from yeah. people down the street. So they're moving to I think Oklahoma. Yeah, Oklahoma. The um, the dad is in the National Guard and is retiring, and so they're moving well, back they, home. They, they inherited a house and some property, right? So uh, I guess dad's dad must have passed. And they mm -hmm. inherited the house. Um, they inherited the house and the property that came with it. Several acres and the house that was on it, mm -hmm. which is awesome. So they were like, and, and it's, it's furnished and everything already. So they're like, well, we're gonna get rid of all this shit now. So see what we can do. But don't put that in your Don't mouth. find out. They're like, yeah, I, we we we're leaving and we're uh, uh, get that out of your mouth. And I was like, huh, I wonder how much that sofa set is because ours is really hard to clean and we've been talking about getting different furniture for a while. And I'm thinking, you know, all of that together is like a hundred bucks and they're doing like the sofa Mama. for 40 Mama. or something. Mama. Up they're still putting Mama. Stuff Mama. Up. Mama. Still putting up Mama. Mama. On and they, uh, I have Lexi get out and I'm like, hey, well, look, go see how much it is, just out of curiosity. She comes back, I said, how much is it? She said, $40. I rolled the window down and yelled at him, So, I'm going to get you cash right now. Yeah, like this was, we were on our way to go get breakfast before Richie had work. And so we hurried up, went pick up breakfast, got cash, and then came back. And so Richie and, <laughs> Richie and the two boys. No. Oh, well, Richie, Richie and the oldest. the oldest son, they... Who my mom taught, by the way. Yeah, because Richie's mom is a teacher. They, uh, yeah, they walked it from their house to our house because it's surprisingly light. But yeah, the cushions are removable. Um, we're probably going to eventually get a rug for right here, probably something that'll tie the uh, curtains and the sofa together. And I really want another little rug for the kids' area. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I want over there. I'll figure it out. But I know for a fact that I want an area rug right here. Because it'll definitely make it much easier to have another one around, you know, that's doing tummy time. And I'm really not in the mood to go all the way to the bedroom to change diapers. And the floor is cold. 
Like it gets really, really cold, even in the summer. So yeah. Now, whenever I say the kids area, it's very messy. Yeah, watch this. Dum, 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 dum. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a little explosion happened. Dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum. Yeah, but it's really not that much. It's just a little enclosed space. So. I should probably pick that up before. Mama, mama. Yeah. Before my dad and my stepmom get here. Because. Well, I know it's going to get wrecked again. At least it'll start off from scratch again and things won't be even worse, I guess. I don't know. I just have a thing about things getting more messy because if it starts out clean, then at least the mess will be equal rather than worse. Or at least that's how I think of it. I, I might be completely wrong. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Let's not do that. You wear it on your neck. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. She also uses it as pretend food in her little pot kitchen set. Yeah. Uh-uh. Don't hit the glass. No, ma'am. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> ah! You loving on your ducky? Duck, duck, duck. Duck, duck, You match the duck. Y'all are both yellow. Oh, you want me? What, you want me to put it back on the duck? There you go. Mm. Now the duck is wearing the necklace. Oh, you just want to make noise, huh? Mm. Yeah. You think you're so slick, huh? Mm. You okay? Hey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Ari has had a few bumps and bruises lately. Huh. You. <laughs> because classic toddler, you know, she uh, is very brave and not very cautious and takes a few more risks than is necessary. And even if she gets hurt from things, she will go back and do it again. And sometimes worse things end up happening. Yay. So you might have noticed that she has a little thing right here. Yeah, it's actually gotten a lot better. The day of the gender reveal, she decided she was going to play near my metal desk. Huh. It used to be a teacher's desk. It actually came with the house. And she was playing with the, uh, the metal drawer handle. And she kind of lost her balance and whack. Yeah, she had a nice little black eye for a little bit there. So as I said, it's it's gotten much better. All right, look at the camera. <gasps> Say hi. Yeah, it, it used to extend a little bit closer to her eye. But yeah. Mm. The, the, the mm. worst it got was like a little purple. Mm. But uh, not, not too bad. It wasn't like really black or anything. It was just like a pinkish purple. Let's see. Oh yeah, the day of the last vlog. The reason why we didn't really have a ending to it because I was planning on filming a little bit more. The reason we didn't film any more was because Ari decided to touch the open oven. Yeah. Hey, don't do that. That's not nice. <laughs> yeah, she's hitting her head against the glass. You. Surprised I don't have any grays yet with this one, okay? <laughs> she is her daddy's daughter. <gasps> is that George? Yeah, George came back. George probably went to go get some snacks, huh? Yeah, snacks. 
<sighs> but yeah, she uh, suddenly ran into the kitchen. Richie thought she was heading back into the living room and he opened the oven to uh, take some food out because we had warmed up some of the uh, meat from, you know, that we had barbecued earlier that day. And she went over and with both hands just went, Phoom! yeah. I was in the living room at the time. And yeah, all I remember was hearing Richie going, Ari, no, and then cursing, and then Ari screaming. And next thing I know, cause like mama reflexes <laughs> went into effect real quick. Next thing I know, I'm in the kitchen with them. Cause yeah, I don't even remember going from, no ma'am, we're not gonna do that. Oh, is that a crown? Can I wear it? Yay, look, I'm wearing the crown. Ah. Oh, you want it? Oh, it fell. Oh no. Here you go. Oh, you. <laughs> um, yeah, it goes on her little My Little Pony thing. Uh, it's not really My Little Pony. It's like a Dollar Tree generic version of it. But yeah, anyway, as I was saying, next thing I know, I'm I'm running like I don't even remember going from the chair to the kitchen to where Richie was holding Ari. He had her hands under the water. And it, it didn't look bad. Like, it wasn't immediately blistering. It wasn't red. So we didn't think it was worth an ER trip. We just got a bowl of ice-cold water. Like, we put, like, huge chunks of ice in it so that she couldn't put it in her mouth and just let her play with it for the next about 10 minutes or so. Um, we gave her some Motrin to kind of ease the pain. And just kept an eye on it to make sure, you know, it didn't get infected, it didn't get worse. I'd, yeah. <gasps> I'd put coconut oil on it at night or any time before she went to bed. And so, yeah, it it, it slightly blistered the next day. But uh, by this point, everything's perfectly fine. She uh, she had a little bit of a rough night that night. But other than like being a little uncomfortable the next day, like enough for one more dose of Motrin, she was fine. So yeah, between the Motrin, the ice water, and the coconut oil that we immediately started putting on her hands. Yeah, I said. Oh, okay. So, but yeah, we uh. <laughs> Everything thankfully turned out all right. What's the matter, baby? Yeah? So, we're gonna call it a night. We've been having a Game of Thrones marathon because we are super behind. Like, we hadn't seen an episode since season four because we just yeah. don't have HBO. And uh, one of our friends has the we were struggling super HBO hard now. Yep, yeah. HBO now. Yeah, he has that, like, the free trial of it or whatever. And so he gave us the password. And so we've been catching up on uh, on Game of Thrones. We are currently on season six. Episode one was the last one that we saw, right? Yeah. So yeah. we're on episode two. Now. Yeah. So we're gonna. We've been trying to watch at least one episode a night. Emphasis on trying. That doesn't always work. No. No, it really doesn't. For one reason or another. And so yeah, but that's it. <laughs> We had a nice little visit with uh with my dad and my stepmom and them. Yeah. And my stepsister had her baby and so we got to hear about how their trip to Texas went whenever they went to go see her. And yeah, it was it was just a nice little visit. But we're gonna close out the video now. Thank y'all for watching. Yep. Yay. If, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. Press the little bell right next Do to it. Do the thing in the stuff. You get notifications. We get, we, we get, we, we try to upload yes, every. Yes, we get notifications. <laughs> we try to upload every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday with a bonus video somewhere in the mix. Usually the bonus video is my pregnancy update. Let's, let's be honest here. It's, well, that's you. It's, it's. Her. It's my pregnancy Not update. Me. Yeah. Her. He's not pregnant. Not me. Even though he looks further along than me. Yeah, but I don't have a, but I don't have a bonus video. I just have my own YouTube channel. That yeah, I he post has, another video for. Yeah, you do. It's been like a week. Yeah, or it's a week been a and while. A half. But I have his. Look, Lexi, as well. Corgi races. Oh my goodness, Corgi racing! 
Okay, that's one thing I'm okay with looking at on ESPN. Yeah. He always has it on ESPN at night, yeah, guys. I do. Oh, my goodness. If we don't have something... Generally, it's because there's nothing on. Yeah, if, if there's not anything on the DVR, he'll put on Sports Center or ESPN. He or will. One of those various sports type things that mm. I have no interest in listening to. Well. And then falls asleep. And he has occasionally grumped at me for turning it off. Even though he was already asleep. Yep. <laughs> but yeah. I do that. On that note. I'm not really I'm sleeping. going to go. I'm never just really sleeping. Unless yeah. it's like past midnight. Then I'm really sleeping. Snoring in my ear. So I turn it off and then. Wait, oh, I was listening hold to up. that. Time out, time out, time out. Time out. I already time said out. the closing no, and you're doing no, now. No, no, hold really? on. Really? What was the thing that you did, that I did the other night that pissed you off so much? Oh. Was like burping your face or something. Yeah. While I was sleeping. He was laying facing me and he burped in my face and I got so pissed and I wanted him to turn over because, by the way, he was snoring. Yeah. In my face. And then he burped. <laughs> and so I, I woke wanted her him... up with my snoring. And then after I woke her up, I burped. <laughs> and like I had literally just fallen asleep. And the TV was still on. And So she didn't go to sleep for a while. <laughs> Guys. Like seriously? Uh, I feel bad. <laughs> His burping, his snoring, leaving the TV on, and forgetting his glasses. Like, he sleeps, he falls asleep with his glasses on sometimes. Sometimes. And by sometimes, I mean, like, half the time. I'm like, Richie. I want LASIK so bad. Richie, take off your glasses. Oh, my God, I want LASIK <laughs> so bad. You're asleep, Richie. <laughs> I want LASIK so bad. But then I discovered that I might not be able to get LASIK. You don't have an astigmatism, do you? I have a slight astigmatism, but not enough to really discredit me for LASIK. But then why wouldn't you be able to get LASIK? Because Alicia, my sister, my awesome sister that got us the food for all the Cajun Strive videos. The only sister he has. The most awesomest sister ever. She, um, she tried to go get LASIK. And she has an astigmatism, though. No, it's not the astigmatism. Oh, it's the shape of her eye? Yeah, literally. Oh, yeah, her eye that's shape. right. I forgot about that. So she can't get LASIK. So, I'm concerned that the shape of my eye won't allow me to get LASIK. That... Then I'd be, like, super pissed. Mm-hmm. Maybe by that point we'll be able to afford contacts again. Yeah, but that's not the point. I stopped I doing know that. contacts I know because that. I don't want contacts. Oh. I got, I had them for a while and it was cool, but I'm lazy. And they used to, pi- and they would piss me off whenever I, it was, like, getting to the he end of the lazy. day. <laughs> But it p- really pissed me off when I was getting to the end of the day, and my contacts were drying out, and my eyes would start to hurt. Yeah, it would aggravate the shit out of me. I do miss seeing you regularly without glasses. Yeah, well. I like your face. I'm glad. Here, look, nerds, my face. No glasses. <laughs> I can't see any of you. Yeah, he can't sh- look anything. Anyway, so can I end the video now? Yeah, fine. Okay. Bye, guys. Later.